We're going to process six scans of an intersection using Scene 2019. And I'll tell you about the new features as we uh, continue forward. So let's click on Process Scans lower left. We'll select the uh, project at the top. Everything below will be processed. We'll click Configure Processing. We'll check our settings to make sure everything is the way we want it. We want to create scan point clouds. We want to skip any fully processed scans. We want to colorize the scans. We want to choose the dark scan filter and the stray point filter. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure perform automatic registration is selected. And we'll choose top view and cloud to cloud. In the upper right corner, we'll click start processing. Scene 2019 takes advantage of all of your processors, all of the cores in your computer. This makes Scene 2019 much faster than previous versions. Now that the scans have processed and registered, let's look at the registration results. We'll click on Verify Registration and Start Verification. It looks like all the scans registered correctly. We'll check our report. We've got a good low mean point error with great overlap. So we'll answer yes, are all scans registered correctly, and click Finish. Next, we'll go to Explore. We'll go ahead and apply a clipping box. We'll rotate the clipping box around. Then we'll extend the ends of the clipping box to expose the area of the scan that we want to keep. Now we'll turn the visibility of the clipping box off by clicking the eyeball on the floating toolbar in the upper right. Next we'll go to the structure view on the left. We'll right click on clipping box under clipping boxes. We'll choose properties. And we're going to name this one main. This is going to be our main clipping box. So it looks like we've got a couple of people out in the street. We have several people uh, gathered over here on the left. And we've got a car in our street on the right that's parked. So we're going to use one of the other new features of Scene. So I'm going to save for now. And in the comment, I'm going to type in Add Clipping Box. Now there's a couple of ways we can add this new uh, moving objects filter. We could either go back to uh, processing and choose moving objects filter, or you can right click on scans, choose operations filter, moving objects filter. Both take you to the same place. We'll select our project and click configure filter. Now for now, we're going to leave all of these defaults as they are. And we're going to click Start Filter. Now that the Moving Objects filter is finished, let's click OK. And let's view our project. We can quickly apply a new clipping box. We'll change this to an interior clipping box. We can turn off the visibility. And we'll rename this one Hide People. And for the car, it was parked on the side. We may be able to hide that by adjusting the main clipping box. And we can adjust the uh, main clipping box on the other side of the street.
And lastly, we'll zoom in this area and we'll add one more interior clipping box. We'll rename this one to uh, Hide People 2. Turn its visibility off. Now our scene is uh, reasonably clean. We'll make sure we save it. So we applied the moving filter and add uh, interior clipping boxes. Now we will create a project point cloud. We will homogenize the point density and click OK. Now the next time we see the intersection, it should look a lot better. Now that the project point cloud has been created, let's take a look. So our intersection looks much better than it did. A lot cleaner, a lot more uniform. So now we can create a scene to go. So first we'll go back to our project, we'll click on Path, and here we'll create a new folder, and we can name this folder anything we want. I'm going to name this one Scene to Go. And I'm going to go into the Scene to Go folder and then copy its path. By clicking to the right of the word Scene to Go in the address bar, that will select everything, and then I'll right-click and copy. I'll minimize this, go back to Scene. Next, I'll click Scene to Go and choose Create Scene to Go Data. I'm going to use the standard view, top view. I'm going to create scan overlays. I'm going to apply it clipping boxes, and I'm going to export grayscale images all the way down here to the bottom, and click Export. Now that the scene to go is completed, we'll click on uh, Successfully Created Data. Now we'll return to scene to go and drop down to Transfer. We'll click on the Browse button. Go down here to Folder, and we will select whatever's there, and we will paste what we copied earlier, the Scene to Go folder. We'll click OK and transfer the data. Now that the Scene to Go is completed, I can click Open Scene to Go. Once Scene to Go opens, I can click on any one of the scans. and view the results. If somehow you manage to click OK here, that's not a problem. You can simply return by clicking Return in the upper left corner. Go to Project, click on your path, go into Scene to Go, and then click Start Scene to Go on Windows. And this will open your Scene to Go project. Now let's look at creating an orthographic image for use in Ferrozone 3D. We'll go to Explore. We're going to go to our preset views on the bottom toolbar, fourth one over from the left. We're going to click on Top. We're going to click on Apps in the upper right corner. We'll click Orthographic Photo. Choose Create an Ortho Photo. We'll select the main clipping box. This is the reason we named this so we'll know which clipping box we're selecting. That's kind of like a picture frame, which is going to contain all of our scene. We're going to drop down and change from metric to imperial. We're going to click on show scale. 
and we'll click Create Ortho Photo. This wants us to choose where we want the ortho photo to be created. So I'm going to go to my Faro Projects folder and into the project itself, and I'll just leave this uh, named ortho photo feet, and I'll type in the word top at the end. So this lets me know it's a top view. The ortho photo will take a few minutes to create. Once your ortho photo is successfully created, simply click OK.